video out of North Korea thumbing its nose at the world. The very defiant North Korean government releasing new images of its successful long-range rocket launch. Reporter Alistair Wanklin has the latest from Tokyo. Alistair? Greta, yes, uh, here in, in East Asia, it, it clearly it has bruised people, uh, governments across the region here. South Korea and Japan have both in recent days been reportedly pressing for uh, an increase in the UN Security Council sanctions to the level currently imposed on Iran. We don't know if they'll get there or tension is, is on the UN right now. China, of course, has a veto power there. And we know that China's patience was taxed with this launch. Uh, foreign ministry spokesman expressing regret. That, that's a pretty strong word from Beijing. Um, but it's unclear what measures China would accept as, as means of punishment on North Korea. Greta? Alistair, do you know why that uh, the window was extended for this launch and then suddenly they launched? Is there any explanation for that yet? It, it could have been a measure by them to, to, to confuse and throw everyone else off the track. Um, yesterday, local time, uh, local media said that the rocket was being dismantled, uh, sorry, two days ago, it was being dismantled from the launch pad, perhaps to meet that uh, to, to, for repairs. But then a couple of hours later, it was apparently put back, and of course the launch took place, um, perhaps without the South Korean media and, 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 and the government there watching particularly closely. Everyone expected mm -hmm. it to be put back by a matter of days. Alistair, thank you. And today, the UN Security Council condemning the rocket launch, saying it will urgently consider an appropriate response. Now, exactly what would that be? Former UN Ambassador John Bolton joins us. He's trying to contain his smirk. Exactly what is this uh, quick move? Well, I think they'll have a strong statement about how concerned they are. And, so, and North Korea is like, so what? Yeah, well, they obviously weren't deterred by the existing sanctions, and, and with good reason. Every step North Korea takes closer to a true deliverable nuclear weapons capability, the more they believe that the uh, United States and other countries that are worried will come to try and negotiate with them. So it's not that their uh, successes uh, breed stronger reactions against what they're doing, they think that the rest of the world will play into their hands. And for 20 years, they've been right about that. Well, take a look at this. I mean, today, the one country that congratulated them was Iran. Last April, North Korea attempted to launch this rocket, and it, and it failed. Now, suddenly, six months later, they got the technology and they're good. So, of course, it's, f it's fair to be suspicious that Iran helped them. And now that, now that they have the ability to do the long-range missile, the question is, what can they reach? And at what point do they miniaturize a warhead, a nuclear warhead, so they can hit us? And we know that they're working with Iran. None of us none of is a, a good picture. No, look, they've been working with Iran on ballistic missile technology for 15 years. They both started with the same Soviet-era Scud missile, uh, and they both have have the same objective. This is a delivery system for nuclear weapons. It has nothing to do with launching weather or communication satellites, which is what both North Korea and Iran say. Well, an NBC report tonight I thought was sort of interesting. It says the object that North Korea sent into space on Wednesday appears to be, quote, tumbling out of control. So whatever they sent is tumbling out of control. And when is it going to tumble into this uh, atmosphere. Look, it could be an inflated beach ball. We don't know what they put into orbit uh, because the purpose ultimately is not to put something in orbit. It's to put it on target somewhere uh, around the world. And, uh, you know, you'd have to look at the shape of the orbit to worry about where it might come down. But the fact that they got something into orbit at all is noteworthy. South Korea, an incredibly prosperous society, uh, has itself failed to orbit satellites. So for this impoverished regime, the most heavily sanctioned on Earth, Earth to accomplish this tells you a lot about what the effect of uh, UN security sanctions is. Well, we, and as well as the six party talks, which have been likewise unsuccessful to convince uh, um, North Korea not to pursue this. Right. I, I'm sure the Obama administration within days will be saying that we're going to get back seriously to the six party That's talks to deal with this. You know, we already see in the mainstream media people saying this is not a big deal. Get ready for the next crisis. It, it is a big Can I deal tell you, every I, step I, of the way. I'll tell you why it is a big deal. I you know very few Americans get into North Korea. We've taken our show three times to North Korea. Inside there, every single day, all the citizens are marching. They are absolutely convinced that every single American, every single day of the week, is trying to think of how to kill North Korea. I mean, there is such an incredible disconnect. I mean, the people in North Korea are absolutely in terror of us, and they are preparing to do something to us. Yeah, well, I think they, they believe they can intimidate the United States, and they've succeeded uh, in that before. And China, which could bring enormous pressure on North Korea, gets away with uh, issuing state statements about regret. Look, if the Chinese were enforcing the Security Council sanctions that existed, it would be very hard, if not impossible, for North Korea to make this progress. The Chinese
Chinese are enabling the North Koreans, they're allowing them to proceed because it suits their interest to do so. They are convinced they are still aboard us and they've won. They even has, have a trophy in the Pyong Harbor is the 1968 capture of the Pueblo that's sitting there and is listing in the harbor. So I mean it is, there is an incredible story that, uh, you know, that just goes on there. Anyway, Ambassador, nice to